And I will say, there is no more fitting song than this one. Okay, my friends, welcome back to the channel. I've just put my first pair of contact lenses in for like three weeks. Okay, I've been wearing these for the last three fucking weeks. Three weeks! Yes, I like them, but I don't like them that much. Okay, now, I don't know what we're going to see. I, 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 I mean, I'm led to believe we're going to see girls playing football in nothing much but pads and some underwear. I don't know how that sounds to you, but it sounds pretty good to me, being a football fan. There's, there's this, you know, to be honest, before I start, before I start this video, I, I didn't know what I was going to say, but it's just come to my mind. And the thing that I'm going to mention before starting this is, there's women's football, it seems, and there's also women's rugby. Now, <laughs> if, if they played women's rugby in lingerie, I mean, that'd be something. But regardless of that, I really, really respect women that play rugby. And girls, anyone, to be honest, anyone in the world, the, the, the game of rugby is a world game. But I'm telling you, if, if, if girls play and they play hard and they have skills and speed, jukes, agility, good tackles, you know, if they've got the skills and, and they're a woman, that just makes it all the better for me. That honestly makes it all the better. I am so proud and so, you know, passionate about sport. That if a girl is performing a, 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 a guy's sport and doing well, that I'd rather watch the girl do it, to be fair. Because that is something cool, that's something different, and they're pushing boundaries. And so, with that in mind, um, I, look, it is lingerie football. I feel, like, I feel like it's a spectacle. Don't know what the rules are going to be, but actually, as I look down here, they, they've given us a bit of an explanation. It says, the LFL... Legends Football League, I thought it was Lingerie Football League, um, it was a Lingerie Football League that was founded in 2009. There are very few rules in comparison to the NFL, so big hits, fights and funny moments aren't that hard to find. This video is a compilation of all various moments during LFL games. Okay, this video was actually brought out over six years ago, December the 4th, 2014. It's got almost 10 million views. When you write in Lingerie Football League, this is the first video that comes up. So this is the first video I'm going to watch. It's only two and a half minutes long. I'm not sure what we're going to see. But let's find out. This could well be the most interesting two and a half minutes of football I ever see. <laughs> For reasons yet to be known. All right, let's go. We need some sound. Sorry. Okay, I like it already. <laughs> They're drinking as well? <laughs> Fuck. Alright, but did I just hear... This is Shakita Benita. No. Shakita Benita. This is Shakita Benita. I'm not sure if it's her, but it's certainly the person talking. Alright. This is Shakita Benita. Now broadcast and laugh. Broadcast and laugh. On this is my first look at a running back. All right, all right, all right. Looks about six foot. I'm gonna say 100 and, 170 pounds with a, a four a four eight five flat 40 yard dash. And we just saw a truck who went into the end zone. All right, let's have a look. And I will say, there is no more fitting song than this one. Oh, God! Yeah, I'm going that way. Shit, you fat ass hoe. What are we seeing here, guys? What the fuck have I just found? Oh, hang on, hang on, hang on. Did we just see? Did we just see punches flying? I've seen more action in this than I have in the whole of the fucking NFL. Oh, I knew that was gonna happen. 
Blackford. I fucking knew it. <laughs> I knew it. That, that was far too good of an opportunity. Yeah, that's that's that's. This shit is in this this is entertainment. <laughs> So they swear. <laughs> okay. For once, the defender gets on top. So these refs, okay, so I'm, I'm guessing there's no flags, no penalties, um, and the refs just take shit the entire game. <laughs> but I was going to say, the refs are probably just watching them anyway, they don't give a shit. What do you think he's looking at? He ain't listening. This is great. <laughs> Come on, mate. I've heard that one before. Okay, who was that? Nah, man. Nah, 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 nah. That's too far. That's too far. I'm not sure what we just saw then. But that was my reaction to it. I hope you enjoyed. In the next one, we're actually going to check out some more Lingerie Football League. Um, or Legends Football League. Is it Lingerie or Legends? Let me work that out. Legends or Lingerie? Okay, so it's called Legends Football League. It's called Legends Football League, but it's... <coughs> oh, God! So it's called the Legends Football League, in brackets, Lingerie Football League. There's four teams, effectively. Where are they from? We're going to read some info. This is the first video I've ever done on Lingerie Football League. It's been recommended a fair few times. Okay. The concept of scantily clad girls playing the somewhat badass sport was introduced at the 2004 Super Bowl under the name Lingerie Bowl. It was an event that could be seen at halftime only in the United States under the figure of pay-per-view as an alternative entertainment to traditional halftime, I like it. Such was the success of seeing beautiful women play practically in lingerie that a formal league went by the Lingerie Football League's name. It began its inaugural season in September 2009. Mitch Mortaza is the founder of the league. In 2013, the league changed its name, and today we know it as the Legends Football League, whose administrative offices are in Las Vegas, Nevada. The girls' equipment when playing is protection for shoulders, elbows, knees, and helmets, similar to those used in hockey. Uh, what are you guys looking at? Enough of that. Stop it. Two modalities, the tackle and flag football. Okay. Or the team has four chances to score. To be valid, the player must pass the line that limits the space to score points. Okay. That's a, that's a touchdown. In women's football, this player is allowed. After scoring, the team can be near the opposing end zone to score for a second time. The game is divided into four 10 minute quarters into 12 minute half time. What is peculiar about these quarters is that they only run when the player is on. Every time there is a touchdown, foul or other inconvenience, the clock stops. Each of the groups must have 11 players. It's divided into three positions, offensive, defensive and special teams. Some prohibitions. 
Unlike men's football, certain moves are not allowed. That is the case with the field goal, one of the few movements with the foot which will enable you to score points. So there's no field goals. The use of so-called punt kicks when the ball must not touch the ground is also not allowed. So no punts, no kicks. In lingerie football league matches, the kickoff is also not allowed in the women's soccer regu regulations given the ball in the hands. Okay, so no kicks whatsoever. These were some basic rules of women's football. We hope that you will understand a little more about this fascinating sporting technique the next time you attend a game or watch it on television. The history of women's American football dates back to the 1960s. The idea arose as a desire to establish something new and rebellious, something that would dispel prejudices about women at the time. And that's back in the 60s, and I'm telling you, this is dispelling prejudices now. So keep doing your thing, and I'm going to keep reacting to it. Okay. In the next video, we're looking at the Lingerie Football League Extra Hits, brought out two years later in 2016, with a million views, from the actual LFL Lingerie Football League YouTube channel, which I am not going to subscribe to just yet. If you've enjoyed this one, and if you want to watch more, please hit the like button. If you want to subscribe, please do. I'm giving my reaction to all sorts of sports. Yes, the majority of it is rugby and American football related, but there's plenty more. I love sport. I'm a sport fanatic. I'm giving my reaction to sports on this channel as an ex-rugby player and as a fan of all sports. Okay? So with that being said, I hope you enjoyed this one. I think we've found something here. And I'll see you in the next one. Laters.